Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again, and I find an occasion where I should stand before you and talk to you just a little bit more, because there's some things that's going on in this country that you should be made aware of, and I'm sure you're already aware of, but you should be given some advice about what you should do. I just came back in the house a few moments ago this morning, and I was watching the news, and I saw a situation where cops have killed another individual in their custody. A young man or a man who had his family sitting there watching while the police did what they did to him. The kids crying saying, you're killing him, you're killing him. He's on the ground, face down, and several of them got him around the neck holding his face down in the dirt. So the guy ended up dead. And when you ask the police who are supposed to be investigating the case, they're saying they didn't see anything wrong, all the procedure was followed. So this is what I'm going to speak to the general public. The general public, listen up. We say that police officers are paid to serve and protect. Not to kill us, but to serve and protect. Now, if a criminal is active and they know he's a criminal and their lives are threatened with this criminal, then they have the right to defend themselves. But just like they have the right to defend themselves, the citizen has the right also to defend themselves. And usually it's the case where it's more police officers than the one person, the citizen. And they tell you to get back, don't have anything to do with them while they kill us. I seen a man in a wheelchair beat down by a police officer. I don't know whether he died or not, but he was found, in, the police officer was found innocent of his conduct. I see them all the time when they shoot. The other day, uh, last month, a lady was in the car with a carload of kids and the police officers fired on the car for a traffic violation, firing on the car. So I'm saying to the public, we must come to the defense of our citizens. Sure, we, don't, we pay police to protect us, as I mentioned earlier, and that's to protect but not to kill us. So every time a police officer kills another person, I want us to know exactly what's happening and we don't want no investigation by the police. And, any, and if there's going to be an investigation by police, this is what I prescribe to you, general public of America. If you see police officers having a situation with a citizen, if it's a traffic stop, if it's anything, you watch it. Watch it for a minute. Just watch it. If they tell you to move on, stand there and watch it. They're going to call for support. You sit there and watch it. And if they are doing anything to this citizen that you don't like, something that you wouldn't want them doing to you, then I want you and all the citizens watching get you a baseball bat and a stick and beat the shit out of these dogs. Beat the shit out of these dogs. See, the reason they're doing that is because they have been given permission. Kill them. And they will be protected by the powers that be kill them and that will be and they will be protected by the powers that be. So what happens when they kill you? They kill you and they put fear in other people saying when the cops say to you they become God and you become a piece of trash nothing but dirt and so they can do anything they want to to you because you didn't do what they said do and then they got the powers that be to exonerate them. So I say anytime you see a policeman accosting a, a citizen you stop and pay attention to it. And you got a camera, film it. If they tell you to get the hell out of the way because you're interfering with police action, you stand your ground. If Mr. Zimmerman can stand his ground, then you stand your ground and protect each other from this abuse from police. I'm saying this to you because you have the right to do it. And I say it one more time. If you catch a citizen being brutalized by a police officer and they're doing something to any of these citizens that you wouldn't want done to you, then you tell them to stop it. If they don't stop, you get a baseball bat and a stick and kick their ass. And when you get investigated, you make sure the police department investigated because they won't find anything wrong. They never do. Now, I've spoken to you. I'm speaking from my heart. They might not like it. They might want to kill me. I don't give a damn. I'm tired of this shit. I mean, what is this? What is this? I didn't mean to curse, but cursing is the only way I can say what I mean and hope that you feel it. Bye-bye.